Hello, my name's the Loyal Royal, and I'm finally back after a two month break. <laughs> and today, we're going to be talking about if Reading FC are in a relegation fight. Be strong. Be strong. First of all, let's talk about their last five games. Reading, on their last five games at home, are win, win, loss, loss and draw, which isn't too bad currently. Away form, though, has been completely shocking, with five losses on the bounce, which just really needs to improve. Overall, we're looking at four losses and one draw, which is absolutely appalling for the Royals. So far, we've had a 53 win percentage at home, which is amazing compared to last season. We've had a 21% draw percentage at home, which ain't too bad, and a 26% loss at home percentage, which, you know, is all right, to be fair. However, when away, it takes a turn. Away, we've got a 16% win percentage, which is absolutely appalling. Draw is an 11%, which is shocking. And loss, we have a 74% loss percentage away. It's absolutely unacceptable for Reading FC fans. And the possession stats aren't even good either. We're looking at an average of about 41% possession home and away. It's just really, really, really shocking for us. And, you know, I know that we're building off stuff from last season, which we had a paper-thin squad to start with. But it's just been, you know, we had a great start to the season. Like, big wins against Blackburn. Uh, you know, one at the start of the season against first home match, I think, was Cardiff. Went to there, amazing. You know, 2-1 win, thoroughly deserved it. But ever since, I'd say... That Norwich won one game at home. Our form has gone down and down and down, which has been absolutely shocking. We need to step up our away performances in order to pick up points and move up the league. And here's where it really gets bad. We're looking at an average of one goal scored per match and 1.53 scored against us. Obviously, some alarm bells are ringing there and Paul Lintz really needs to step up and decide what he needs to do with the team. But whose fault really is it? Because when on the pitch, you have there's mistakes that are made by players which do lead to goals. Like Naby Sarr uh, against, I think it was, was it Millwall? I think it was Millwall. Naby Sarr against Millwall, he passes it straight to the man. And then Guinness Walker tries to intercept, but he just misses it. And Joe Lumley gives away a penalty, which was absolutely shocking defending and shouldn't have been happening in the first place. But then you've got to look at the manager, who Paul Lintz, you know, he hasn't had the best managerial record so far. And, you know, bringing on subs when he shouldn't really bring on subs. Like, bringing on subs like Scott Dan in like the 70th minute you know he's a great defender and I love the guy but is he really going to make that much of an impact in the 70th minute as a fun exciting player such as Femi Aziz would bringing him on on the right or the left in the wings cutting in and trying to create goals with big AC in the middle but then you have to think is it the attitude of the players like I think Tom Holmes uh, misplaced a pass to Tom Ince on the uh, right hand side of the pitch against Hull and he just kicks the ball straight away and starts screaming at him and I know Tom Mintz is one of our best players this season, but it seems like he's whining and crying a lot of the other players on the pitch, which you don't really want to see. And our last games running towards the end of the season aren't going to help us out much either. The last games running into the end of the season are Bristol, Birmingham, Preston, Burnley, Luton, Coventry, Wigan and Huddersfield. Now, Wigan and Huddersfield to end the season is going to be very, very interesting if Reading don't pick up many points currently. Because if we don't pick up many points currently and those two teams are still in the bottom, those are going to be two massive win games to, to try and win at the end of the season. And if we don't win them, who knows, we might be going on a League One tour next season. So, what are your thoughts? If you're a Reading fan or a Hull fan or a West Brom fan or whatever you might be, let me know in the comments and let me know if you think who is going to go down this season and if the Ding are in a relegation fight. And one more thing, as always, stay loyal.